when we're sequencing um it's a quick and easy thing that you want to probably get used to especially for drums is changing the grid um so what i mean by that is if i quickly come add a new clip add new clip and come down and i just want a four to the floor kind of kick drum see it's only adding it in on a 16th there which is fine but it's a bit of a pain you know i only want one kick there so if we just right click or dual click if you're on a mac we can change the actual fixed grid in the background here so i'm going to just change it to a quarter there we go and then i can just click them in now if i want to add some kind of closed hi-hats then i probably just want to change it back to a 16th take some of them out and do I maybe have some open hi-hats on every eighth I'm just going to duplicate that across there we go oh and I'll whack another a clap in Every two, so we'll go back to quarter notes. That just keeps everything nice and uniform. Now, another important aspect of changing the grid is actually looking at the length of notes played. So, just to kind of demonstrate that, if I load up an instrument and I'll make a new clip. And we'll see at the minute this is set to 16th so if we look at the first number one for one bar the next number for how many notes we can fit in that bar um i'll just put a couple in so you've got 16th okay and if you have a listen to that now if I change this, you'll hear that we get different, the notes play for different lengths of time. So change that, just put one in, I'll delete these. So you'll hear it, it'll play for a quarter note, or it'll be more prolonged, whereas these are shorter. And that's really the other aspect of changing the grid or why it's important for when you're sequencing in notes you can actually choose the length or how long that note plays for um obviously if you change it to 16 and you can fit 16 notes in that space um you can kind of start creating rhythmic effects so although this is on a if i put it on a 16th um you know we can kind of change it Um, so experiment with it, you know, um, that's really what changing the grid's about, giving you more options to sequencing notes and to really get the impact of your drums.